Okay, I'm going to the question section so I can maybe just answer a few questions. <sighs> okay. <laughs> It's really lovely to see people actually asking how am I feeling and how am I doing and um, the support I've been receiving is unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to cry so early <laughs> but it's simply because of all the support I've been receiving and the lovely messages and comments. Um, I'm so, so grateful to have been able to represent South Africa and make you guys proud. And before coming to Miss Universe, I just said I wanted to be the best version of myself. And if I can make everyone out there proud, I've done what I should have done. So I'm just so thankful and grateful. And um, I'm doing well. I'm obviously a little bit emotional and I think it's quite normal. <laughs> um, but you know, I have done everything I could. I gave my best, I showed up 110%. I've learned so much about myself. I've given everything I could. <laughs> Let me quickly see. Oh, thank you guys. I'm just so emotional because I've, I didn't respect, I didn't expect this response and just getting on social media and seeing people spreading so much love and support is something I've never experienced the way, I've, the way I did now. So I'm doing, I'm doing well. Another question, so many questions. <laughs> okay, let's let's share everything um, this is gonna be quite a long live because I feel I want to share every part of my journey with you guys um, okay let's do this how was the whole experience it was really everything I could have wished for and more like since the day I arrived up to interviews up to prelims I'm just so grateful that I actually had the opportunity to walk the stage prelims was like when I spoke to Werner afterwards, <laughs> I was like, Werner, I just felt a certain presence and I felt at peace with everything I did and I felt so content. Um, and I got such great feedback on my dress and um, my bikini performance, guys, I was so nervous about bikini because for some other reason to walk high pace is really hard for me. <laughs> and just before I went out, my roommate, um, Estefania, she was like, listen, you need to over-exaggerate for it to look like something. So I was just there on stage, like overdoing the hip movements and everything. Um, it, the whole experience was amazing. Uh, we were in the hotel a lot and I've been struggling with my eyes um, the whole week. So I messaged Tamron um, and I was like, listen, doctor, my eyes are so dry. What can I do? So I, um, I was quite missing being outside and luckily I get to see some of the US now but the whole experience was amazing um, I don't think um, I think it's something you guys would like to know is about the final night and all I can say is the one thing I told myself before going to Miss Universe was regardless of the outcome if I did everything I could and if I am happy with my performance I need to be content with whatever the outcome is and it was hard to accept it wasn't something I expected um, I'm still trying to understand and there's obviously not a certain answer I'm gonna get at this moment um, everything happens for a reason and that's literally the only thing I can look at is saying there's a reason why I didn't make it to top 21. It's not something I understand currently. It's not something I expected to happen. It was, it was extremely hard standing there and knowing that South Africa did so well for three years. Um, but I gave everything and I'm proud of myself for standing there and I overcame so many things that I struggled with for such a long time. Um, when I look at my Miss Universe interview, uh, they asked me, 
what's the one thing that I learned about myself this past year and during this pandemic and it just took me back to my South Africa saying that I actually learned how to how to embrace my vulnerability how to put myself out there regardless what the outcome is and I can't go around saying to people that when I don't fully believe it so I have to accept that I've put myself out there and that was more than enough and in five years time I will understand why and I'll understand why things didn't work out like I wanted it to um, yeah it's just everything went like I wanted it to go so I'm answering this for like five minutes this is gonna be get a tissue Oh, I'm gonna acknowledge this one simply because I cannot say thank you enough um, that's the only thing I wanted to do was make you guys proud and and if I did that I'm happy sorry for crying guys I've been emotional for the last few days not because things didn't turn out um, the way I wanted it to simply because I can't believe how people are just sharing love and support towards me.